Kamala Harris's mask is falling off. Yes, the presidential nominee has been caught out yet again, this time desperately trying to win over Christian voters by any means necessary. Kamala Harris attended a new birth missionary Baptist church service in Georgia on Sunday morning. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Come on. Kamala Harris delivered a cringeworthy sermon at the service. Person passed by, sees the man lying in his path, and walks around him, not wanting to be bothered. And despite desperately trying to pander to the worshippers, Harris was blasted for the transparent performance, with this commentator saying, Kamala Harris messed up so bad she went to go pander at the church in what can only be described as the most cringeworthy and fake moment I have ever seen. This is fake on steroids. The church service appearance has been blasted by commentators as fake as it comes just days after Kamala Harris was accused of mocking Christians at her rally who shouted Jesus is Lord from the crowd. So well, while we're talking about the war on Christianity, have a look at this exchange over the weekend. While Kamala Harris was promoting abortion without limits, the entire crowd erupted into loud cheers, but then a lone student in the crowd who is a Christian and so pro-life, called out, Jesus is Lord. Now, instinctively and without pause, Kamala mocked him, telling him he was at the wrong rally. Take a look at what happened. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. You meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Just wow. Damien, what do you make of that? Well, I think it's interesting, isn't it, that, you know, someone cries Jesus is Lord at a Democrats rally and they're immediately told by the party's presidential candidate that they're at the wrong rally. Um, what does that say about the Democrats and, and their beliefs and their views? I mean, we've replaced Christianity in the West or in modern Western culture with, um, you know, this woke ideology, cult, religion, nonsense. The men then spoke to Fox News about their experience being ushered out of the rally after Kamala Harris mocked them. Those two young men then talked to Fox News, sharing their experience of then being ushered out of the rally. They weren't even allowed to stay for simply stating Jesus is Lord. Now, you don't have to be a Christian, you don't have to be a Catholic, but where's the tolerance? Where's the inclusion, Kamala and co? Sky News host Joe Hildebrand blasted Kamala for the comment, saying it was terribly damaging and a stupid thing to say. What she should have said, but the mistake that Kamala made was to say, "There's actually, for someone who says Jesus is Lord or someone who even is pro-life or whatever, there's no place for you in the Democratic Party. That is insane. By saying mm. you are not welcome at this rally and literally physically removing them, she's saying there is no place for you in the Democratic Party. And that is, of course, a terribly, terribly stupid and damaging thing to do. In America, particularly. Especially in America, yeah. and especially when you've got so many uh, working class people, Irish Catholics, um, Italian Catholics, Roman Catholics, who obviously are culturally or sort of democratic leaning, but also have conservative social 100%. values. 100 so, The Bible so Belt, really you just lost them all. Jesus, Lord, you say, yes, he is, but he's not running in this particular race. You know, he's not on the ballot. So, but she didn't need to react at all. She, she heard that Jesus is Lord thing and she, and she decided she needed to react. And this is why she's such an appalling candidate. She's the worst candidate since Hillary Clinton and we know what happened to her. So <laughs> she's just a really... She cannot very quickly off the top of her head think of a clever way or a, an appropriate way or a tactically good way mm. to react. So she did this really stupid thing of go to the rally down the street, you don't belong in my rally if you want to say Jesus. And to add insult to injury, Christian anti-abortion activists were also forcibly removed from the Baptist church service by police during Kamala Harris's appearance.
presidential candidate J.D. Vance clapped back at Kamala Harris's stunt, proudly proclaiming Jesus is king as the crowd roared in agreement during a rally. Anti-Christian rhetoric and anti-Christian approach to public policy. I don't think we've... I, I don't think that we've... That's right, Jesus is king. And I don't think that we've seen... I don't think that we've seen anything like this in modern American politics. Eric Trump doubled down on this, reassuring his crowd that they're at the right rally. North Carolina. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're at the right rally. Can you believe that comment yesterday? Somebody went out and says, Jesus is king. And what did Kamala say? You're at the wrong rally. Well, everybody in here, you're at the right rally. <laughs> Guys, this isn't about politics. This isn't about politics. We've all seen political campaigns. This has become a movement of absolute love. It started as politics, but this is no longer that. This is so much bigger than that.